Anthony coming to you live from the solar shed right now. And today I'm just going to do an overview of my wiring, wiring of the thermostat to my thermoelectric refrigerator. If you recall from um, the previous video that I did modify a Black & Decker thermoelectric refrigerator to run off my solar system. But I'm going to show you quickly just how the wiring takes place for the thermostat. And um, these thermostats, um, DC thermostats can be found on eBay real easy. easy. And I'm not advertising for eBay, but um, just in case someone might be interested in doing something like this. And um, these are about maybe six or seven bucks. They're really cheap, but they work. And um, I just want to show you the inputs because... Um, at first it can be a little bit confusing as to where do you plug what okay let me try to just zero in on the on the um the leads on the thermostat you see where it says ground gnd that's actually where you're going to connect um, the negative terminal of the battery coming from your, your solar system and where you see the plus right there um plus 12 it actually takes 12 volts that's where you're going to connect the positive terminal um, coming in from your solar system and also K1 right there we, we see where it says K1 you will also need to also connect the positive terminal coming in from your battery to K1 as well so both of those need to be live and active then K0 is going to be the output from the relay switch which is also the positive terminal that actually goes to your load and in this case, it's going to go to um, my thermoelectric um, module inside my little refrigerator right here. So that's where K0 is. So let me just review. Um, the ground actually goes to the negative terminal of your battery. The plus 12 goes to the positive terminal, terminal of your battery. The K1 goes to the positive terminal of your battery. And K0 goes to the positive terminal of your load and then the ground um, at, at the end right there the first one I just showed you that goes to the negative terminal of your load so just in case you're wondering how to connect these guys that's how you actually do it and let me just turn down right now and just see what's going on and uh, just demonstrate to you what I'm looking at right now so if I turn the switch on here's the thermostat has been engaged which means that at K0 there should be a positive reading right now because the thermostat actually has closed the circuit um, I currently have the temperature set to 28.7 degrees um, Fahrenheit so um, actually no it's set lower, lower than that it's set to about 0 degrees um, Celsius which is about 32 degrees Fahrenheit but as you can see right now the temperature inside my cooler is 28.7 degrees Fahrenheit so right now what what it's doing right now is attempting to um, bring the temperature down to 0 degrees um, Celsius which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit and once the temperature reaches 32 degrees Fahrenheit this thermostat um, will actually open and um, the power to my thermoelectric module will actually power off. So this is very neat guys and this actually works very well because it saves power because the thermoelectric modules they take quite a bit of amps to run. So I'm going to wire um, the thermoelectric module, the positive terminal of the thermoelectric module to K0 and once I'm done I'll come right back. Okay guys, we're back. Um, I've completed the wiring of the positive terminal of my thermoelectric module to K0. I'm not sure if you can see it right there. K0 is right over there. So right now, if I turn on this switch right now, then it should actually supply power um, not only to my cooling fans, but also to the thermoelectric module. And it should begin the process of cooling my fridge. And as you recall, as I mentioned earlier, I have a thermo um, stat, or I should say, a temperature sensor inside the refrigerator. And once the temperature reaches about 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 
it will actually turn off the power to my thermoelectric module. So here we go. So right now the, um, the switch, the, the thermostat has been engaged and now it's applying power to my thermoelectric module. So these modules should begin to get warm pretty quick. Um, as you know with a thermoelectric module you have two sides, a hot side and a cold side. The cold side is actually inside the, the, the box right here or inside the fridge and the hot side is on the outside. So what happens as it's um, it, it one side of the thermoelectric module gets real cold and one side gets real hot and this cooling fan at, at the rear is actually pulling heat away which is important it's pulling heat away um, from the module while um, inside the refrigerator is actually providing cool air so guys it's working pretty well right now and uh, just wanted to show you how to wire it just in case you have one like this thanks for watching Bye-bye now.